I don't even want to do this clip. I don't want to do this because I don't want to have to acknowledge this idea is even serious enough to be worth talking about because it shouldn't be. It doesn't deserve to have me talk about it even as I rebut it. The idea that the leaders of a faith whose extremist ideology produced a handful of crazy terrorists who then staged the worst attack on American soil in all of American history. These same people who represent this faith now 10 years later think it's a good idea to erect a monument to this same ideology on this same spot where this same attack took place and we're all supposed to just stand around and hold hands and sing kumbaya while they do it? What the freaking hell planet am I on? And yeah, I don't know I don't know who I'm more upset with. The Muslim extremists themselves or the spineless politicians in New York who are allowing this idea to get a foothold. I don't want to talk about this. Do you know what I really want to talk about? I want to talk about new rock artists and how amazing they are. And that's exactly what I do on my other channel. And I want to talk about current events, but from a light and fluffy point of view. And for the most part, that's what I do on this channel. And you know what? I'm pretty good at it. I don't want to have to be talking about this kind of stuff. There's just one problem with that. I can't not talk about it. Because, because the fact of the matter is that this idea really does have a foothold. And that to me is unconscionable. I remember that day, September 11th, and I remember how shocked and how angry we all were. But even worse than that, we were scared. And we should have been. We didn't know what was getting ready to happen next, but it was in our shock and in our horror and yes, even in our fear, it was in that moment that we pulled together as Americans and we stood united as one for a while. And the idea that we could be where we are now, less than 10 years later to me, is an un unconscious. I can't even I can't even comprehend it, really. But in either case, um what we really need, do you know what we really need? What's been what's been sorely absent in all of this for the last 10 years? We haven't we haven't had an apology. What we need, we don't need a mosque on ground zero for there to be a healing. No. What we need is for these same people who want to build this mosque, how about instead they start with an apology? Okay, I know they didn't personally have anything to do with the attacks. I know they're not personally responsible. But I need for somebody who holds some high office within that faith to just come forward and say, Hey, America, we have a problem in our faith. We have an extremist sect of it that does not represent us and we patently reject this sect and as the head imam for North America or whatever this person's title might happen to be I want you to know that I assume personal responsibility and I am going to be actively working to bring this sect under control and to bring some moderation to my faith and by the way I apologize because we got it wrong. That's what I need to hear. That's what we need in this country for the healing to begin. And until somebody comes forward with that, you can just take your idea for some mosque at ground zero and you can just take that down the road. And you can just take your extremist ideology right along with it. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. But frankly, right now, after all that, I really feel like I need to take a shower. I'll see everybody up here once again soon. Steve out.